Tucky, everyone, with Alison Davis from Wild Time Cooking. Now, how are you? I'm great. Thank you. <laughs> now, we've already started <laughs> cooking, but what is it that we're actually making? Turkey, what? Well, I am doing a play on like the burrito bowls. Okay. Um, but a healthy version. I love burrito bowls. I do too. Yeah. And but so, what have you already started cooking so in here? So this is just some uh, red peppers, a little garlic, and then okay. I took that like broccoli slaw that oh, you I can love get, that. you know, from in the Kroger store. or somewhere, mm -hmm. yeah. So it's really convenient. Um, but we're going to add to that the cauli rice, the oh, cauliflower pearls, yep. love it. instead of rice. So we're just going to start sauteing that. Oh, I that. didn't think. So I'm using the cauliflower rice instead of actual rice, yep. and we're making a burrito bowl with all of those same flavors. So Do we need to put some liquid in? Oh, we are we are going to add some liquid, but honestly, you will get a little liquid just from the vegetables as they cook and they right. saute. They'll release some of their water. Oh, okay. So we have peppers, we have the broccoli slaw, yep. we have a little garlic, and I'm adding to this some heat with the uh, jalapenos and some chipotle peppers. Ooh. Okay. Want me to stir around? Yeah, you certainly Good. can. And you were talking about liquid and what we're adding into I this. I put food everywhere. I'm hopeless. <laughs> what we're adding into this is some cherry tomatoes. Oh, you put them in tomatoes. now as well? Yeah. Yeah, so I like to like kind of cook them down a little bit so they'll start the... to, you know, release that liquid in Yeah, there. I was going to say, and there's the liquid too. isn't this colorful and It's very already? colorful. All right, so as far as like the Latin flavors, I mean, obviously we're getting some salt and pepper, but I'm adding in a little cumin into hey, this. Hey, did I tell you I bought some of that chili salt? I don't know. Sweet and, sweet and chili from Kroger? Uh -huh. I've been putting it on my chicken. Whoa. He loves talking about his chicken, I tell you. That's all I can make. <laughs> um, again, a little heat with the cayenne. And you then, didn't put much in there, no, then. No, because we have the chipotle peppers, oh. and they're going to bring some heat. But um, a big part of this is the chili powder, so it's going to give it that chili flavor. Oh. Can you smell that? Well, yes, because my nose is a little itchy now. Oh. Well, and then I have some ground turkey. I've already browned off the turkey, and I cooked the turkey with some smoked paprika, some cumin and some salt and pepper. Okay. So I just browned it off and we're gonna add that in. And that, you know, honestly, this is a lot. Is super this lean. would feed four people. I know, and it's very inexpensive. That's really only one pound of meat, and I didn't even use the whole bag of the cauliflower rice. I only used maybe half of a bag of that broccoli slaw mix. So yeah, it, it comes together quite nicely. So this is basically... I love the size of that pot. Yeah, this is basically kind of the mixture. And there were two ways I thought you could serve it. One, you could serve it in a bowl. I'm going to yep. garnish it with some fresh lime juice and cilantro. And you could serve it in a bowl, maybe do like a fried egg on top if you wanted to, you know, for the cauli bowl. Oh. Um, or what I did Have you ever was heard of a fried egg on... A I just, bowl? Well, I just love fried egg on everything. Oh. But then I thought, well, what if we made like a little burrito? Yeah. So what I have here is I just took eggs and coconut flour and fried it to make like a tortilla. Oh. Uh, but it's gluten-free tortilla just with eggs. And so then we could take a mixture of this, put it into our burrito, roll it up, and then serve it with, um, and what I have here is some salsa verde that we could pour on top. Okay. Isn't that great? Good. Is this ready to be done? It certainly is, yeah. Really? It's that fast. Yeah, so oh. this is like honestly like no more than like a 15, 20 minute dinner ready to go. Right. And I think kids and family and okay. well, show us how might you, eat it. Show us how you plate this up. So I'm just going to take it and roll it like a big You got burrito. too much in there. Who are you talking to? <laughs> <laughs> you got to have a big mouth to be able to eat this. Yeah. So we could probably use like a toothpick and like, yeah. you know, do that seam side down. Yeah. And then I just have um, some nice like salsa verde that I made. And do you want to bring it over here so I can see it? That looks absolutely gorge. Now, you're saying that, oh, what's, what's, the, what's the salsa? Salsa verde is like with tomatillos and poblanos and a little bit of cilantro and lime. Good. Will you put that recipe online as well? Of course. I appreciate that. Hey, if you want to find out how to get... Oh, I'm putting it everywhere. Find out this recipe. Head over to Midday Kentucky, our website at wtbq.com forward slash Midday Kentucky. It'll all be there. That looks really yummy. Thank you. Looks really yummy. I'd put a toothpick, and that's enough for two people. Certainly. Yeah, we'll be back after this short break, everyone.